Oh, hello. If I go down here, I it's essentially game over, so you guys should be excited. This is where men are born. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, thank you, shield. You saved my life. Oh, why am I running in here? What makes me think this is okay? Okay. Oh, that was a little too close for comfort. That's what I get for getting cocky and trying to do something mid-round. And to be completely honest, I do stuff mid-round all the time because essentially I've gotten so used with playing with randoms back in Black Ops, people just being stupid for, you know, without using extreme French. Just people not thinking and just doing things whenever they wanted. I essentially really got used to doing things during rounds. I have no problem with that. If there's zombies everywhere, I'll go do the Easter egg or I'll go essentially just <laughs> go do random things. It, it's a little bit different when it comes to solo because solo, they all have one common enemy and that's just you. So it's a little bit tougher. It's still possible. Um, it's just a little bit more possible with different guns than from what I'm running not to mention as well as just perks because what I really need at the moment is double tap and I won't be able to get double tap until I come back oh well you're a little late to the party okay so this guy you hear yelling which I swear they took the sound clip from George and you totally just took that didn't you wow all right uh, oh hello just go just go okay so essentially that guy that's charging right behind me and you can hear him just be like nom 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 that his name is brutus or brodus uh he's essentially the warden I, a lot of people say that he's actually the guy you killed in the intro that came back as a zombie and you killed him again i already got one i didn't think i had one okay where are you brodus you and me aren't done no leave, leave the box alone and that's essentially his little gimmick he will go across the map and try to shut down things that you're using such as you know the box um as well as perks things of that nature it does cost you some money to actually open it back up sorry i'm taking a deep breath because that was actually kind of scary i'm not the brodus but the in incident before it still kind of scared me all right i'm gonna hope he's not damaged if he's damaged he's gonna die okay Whew, okay back to my topic anyways so what essentially what i was saying is i'm used to doing things during rounds but when it comes down to a solo game and every zombie trying to kill you it gets a little bit tougher because i mean obviously they're all going to be aiming for you no matter where they are no matter what they who you kill they're gonna always come towards you or spawn towards you <sighs> okay we could still do this okay so yay <laughs> it's gonna be so sketch <laughs> you have no idea okay that's a four that's a five that's a one okay so four and then as you can see you could do the shock to change it one okay so now that's changed, let's go ahead and run for our lives and try not to die. Because there's probably a bunch of zombies near us now. Alright, let's go and survive. Oh, hello. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's... I, I totally saw all that coming. Yep, I, I knew it was, it was all coming. But I know it's only going to get worse. Yep, it's going to get so much worse. Yep. OMG, why am I doing this? Am I really this desperate to give you guys this great of entertainment? I hope this entertains you, because uh, there's a good chance I'm going to die here. There is a great chance I'm going to die here. Okay, I got insta-kill. Oh, whew. Oh, hello. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay, yeah, just screw you. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I survived that. I Whoa, okay, get out of my way. <laughs> oh, blood rush right there. Okay, we're good. Just trying to think, because that's the last part, and I'm not entirely sure if I actually want to go back to power. What do you mean, go back? Go to back a punch. Gondola's powered. I think I'm actually just going to take the gondola back up. Because, you know, screw you guys. <laughs> I honestly got really lucky with that in instant kill. If I hadn't gotten there, there's a good chance I probably would have gone down. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, I will take it. You know, I hopefully... 
hopefully <laughs> it won't happen again. I'm going to buy an electric chair. Oh, you must have power turn on for blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I will be running with... Oh, and I probably should explain the rest of the perks. Yes, we're heading to the roof, Billy. Don't worry. But we're essentially... Jug is so you could take more hits, I, I believe, in total without perma jug. And that's a whole other thing that we're not getting into because that's not actually applicable on this map. But jug will allow you to take five hits, six hits, you're down. Uh, speed cola essentially is sleight of hand. It will uh, make you reload faster. Double tap, which I haven't shown yet, but I'll actually get to it in a second after... You know, we go on this airplane, and I'll explain what this is. Um, essentially, increases your not only fire rate, but increases damage rate as well. That's something that did not have in Black Ops. Here, this is what essentially was our gimmick. We need to build this airplane so we can escape Alcatraz. And I probably should have noted that we were in Alcatraz. <laughs> I'm just, you know, dropping things all over the place. But yeah, we were in Alcatraz. These are a couple of people that wanted to get out of, you know, Alcatraz essentially. Yeah, and he was just muttering random crap. And... Say you beg for forgiveness. Anyways. And it's really sad once you think about it. A lot of things about this map is not only creepy, but kind of sad. I'll explain a little bit later. Maybe when we get to round 20. But... Uh, anyways, yeah, so they escaped for Alcatraz. They had to build the airplane. When they did, they almost made it, but the storm caused them actually to hit the Golden Gate Bridge. And this is where Pack a Punch is. Essentially, what Pack a Punch is, is you will. I will take that. Oh, hello. We did not start a new round. I call bullshit. Why? I'm going to round you up until I know how many of you are, are there are. But yeah, and then it takes us here to the Golden Gate Bridge where Pack Punch is. Pack Punch is essentially a machine where you can put in your current gun and it'll give you a brand new gun, an upgraded gun of sorts. And with that, you will essentially... It'll be more powerful, of course. It may have an attachment. And I think that's all there is. To actually get off this roof, you need to just... Or roof, roof. To get off this bridge, you will need to actually, in a way, commit suicide. <laughs> Because, yeah, we're going to end the electric chair. It's going to shock us. All these zombies were just going to kind of watch us die, essentially. And then we get... And it's like, it seems... This all seems familiar. Weren't we here before? I'm not even going to start with the skulls yet. I'll, I'll talk about that later. I just want to go get double tap at the moment. But, yeah. Pack a punch. Awesome upgraded gun. It does cost an arm and a leg. 5,000 points. And point system, I probably haven't really dis you know, explain, but for good reason, because there's really not too much to explain. And if anything, there is too much to explain. Because essentially, if you kill a zombie with a knife, you get 130 points. Every knife or every bullet you put into them, it's essentially 10 points. You can rebuild barriers on windows. Those are 10 points. But those are just kind of touching the surface. There are so many other ways you could get points. As well as so many ways you can spend points. But, you know, points are the currency in here. So with the Uzi, I believe it was like a thousand points. As well as the M1927. Uh, I wanted an electric cherry. Uh, we'll go this way. So, points make the world go around. Money makes the world go around. And this is what we aim to do. And yeah, you also use the doors to open that. And then another 2000 for electric cherry. I, I don't think I've explained electric cherry. Uh, electric cherry is essentially... Every time you reload, it'll send a shock. I'll kind of show it off here in a minute. See how many more is left. Okay, cool. So as you can see right there, it did a little electric shock. If the zombies are close enough to you, they will actually do... Or they'll get stunned. And it, it's kind of helpful, and it's going to be really helpful for when I show off the strategy that I'm going to be doing now. It won't be as noticeable until I actually bring in the guns that I want to use. Right now I'm just trying to waste ammo because, well not waste it, but just actually have a good use for it. Hello. Hello. And you'll, you, I mean, you have the ammo. It's pretty much free money because the ammo equals money as well. So why not use it? Why not get some more money while you have a chance to actually gain it? 
and then because you never know when you might use it later because there's can be some times where you can have all your perks that's what the drinks are you know the juggernaut uh speed cola you could have all your guns pack a punch and then there'll be one stupid move where you will go down and you will go down constantly and because of that then you don't actually have as much points as you used to because those points will go by fast that's for sure okay so we're almost done with the Uzi ammo, thankfully. And then I really want to know how many more there's left. Because if there's just one left, I'm going to actually refuel. I only see you left. So I'm actually going to refuel the plane so it's, you know, there and it's activated, able, whatever you want to call it. And I'm actually going to hit the box as well, too, because I'm going to try to get one of the first guns I'm going to be rolling with that is essentially going to be either the blunder gat which is the wonder weapon new to this map and i'll explain what a wonder weapon is later and or possibly the death machine which is a giant machine gun with the most ammo in the game to date it's the gun that has the most ammo like the biggest clip as well as you know the most ammo a gun can hold so those are the two things I'm going to try to aim for. If I can get one, then I'll use the other gun until I get, you know, no ammo, then get the other one. Uh, what a wonder weapon is, essentially, with the stor uh, the zombie storyline, what created the zombies is an element called 115. It's kind of a meteorite chemical. We won't go into too much detail with that. But people have tried to not only you know experiment and see you know what its pure essence is but as well as try to control it and you know weaponize it it's kind of like bio biochemical or weaponism whatever you want to call it i'm trying to use fancy words and i'm sounding stupid anyways so because of this these actually make wonder weapons there's one wonder weapon that's been used since the dawn of zombies which is the ray gun everybody loves the ray gun a little too much if you ask me um and things as such as the wonder waffle the winter's howl uh the thunder gun the scavenger i mean these are all different weapons that i'm not going to go into because they're not in this game well besides the ray gun the one that was new with this map is the blunder gap but the blunder gap essentially is a shotgun and oh my god it's a one amazing shotgun and you can do a lot of damage with it and it can take two routes as far as upgrading you can change it into an acid gat which essentially works as kind of a kind of a beacon it's the best way i could describe it since i haven't really described the use of like monkeys or the crossbow upgraded but it acts like a beacon if you shoot it zombies will be attracted to it and you know they'll stop hitting you for a bit and then it'll actually explode where was the box at? I believe it was down here. And so that's what the Asagat does. And if you upgrade that, then it turns into the Vitrolic Withering, so something along that line. And it essentially does the same thing, but to a little bit more extent, it takes longer for those bullets to blow up, as well as more zombies will blow up with it. Oh, look what I got first hit. It's the Blundergat. So let's go ahead and, you know, just show you what it does, you know, regularly. So BAM! So essentially it's a one-shot kill. It's a, um, a combination. It's a mythical weapon. Obviously it doesn't exist. But it's a mythical weapon between a Gatling gun and a blunder gun, which I believe was an old age shotgun. So this is essentially what the team created. And it's an amazing shotgun. I love it. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that if you get to the point where it's not as powerful anymore it won't be a one-shot kill anymore but it'll make them crawlers and that's the first shotgun i've ever seen that actually do or a weapon besides the ray gun actually do well besides any explosive weapons and it's just a little ridiculous really once you think about it because I mean, a gun that makes a zombie a crawler, if you're not even shooting the legs, I don't know. Uh, zombie players will understand my, you know, my gripe about that. Non-zombie players will be like, well, what's the big deal? So, <laughs> think, yeah, just try to, just just nod, and just smile and nod. That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, elements of 115 being controlled into special wonder weapons, and that's what 
you know, those are essentially our... Usually each wonder weapon is specific to the map it's in. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that point. And let's head back up towards the gondola. The gondola. Because the gondola is the best gondola in the world. I really feel bad for making fun of French people now. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs>